Hi, and thanks for joining me. And in this video, we're going to talk about the Bitmoji Classroom. Now, this has been a very popular tool to use since distance learning started last spring, and it's a great way to make a connection between you and your kids when you're not face-to-face -face in the classroom, and still afford the ability for your kids to get access to all the links and resources that they need for your classroom. And to give you an idea of what a Bitmoji Classroom looks like, let's take a look at this sample that I made recently. So in this classroom, this was created in Google Slides, and it takes advantage of my Bitmoji that I've created through bitmoji.com. Now, if you want to create an avatar for yourself, you cannot go to bitmoji.com to create it, but you can get the link to install Bitmoji on your phone and then use your phone to create your avatar. Once your avatar is created, then you can download the Bitmoji extension for your Chrome browser at the Chrome Web Store and then add that to your toolbar so that you can access your avatar anytime you'd like. But once it's set up, your Bitmoji Classroom, like I said, is a place where you can put links to resources and then provide it as a link inside your Google Classroom so that kids can see you, in a sense, and then all the links to activities, games, websites, and learning tools that they need for your classroom. So we're going to create one of these really quickly. It's very simple, and we're going to start with a Google Slideshow. And we don't need these text boxes here because we're going to be changing up this slide format just a little bit. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the insert image tool and then search the web for a floor and some walls. So if you type in floor walls in the search box, then you can find plenty of examples of backgrounds that you can use for your Bitmoji classroom. So just grab whichever one you'd like and then click insert. And you may have to resize this a little bit to get it to fit your page. So I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it fits. And then I'm going to scale it using the crop image tool so that it fits my slide. You'll notice the little guides will pop up in red letting you know when you've reached the size limit of your slide. Okay, and then I think you're just about ready to go. Okay, so we now have a floor and walls, so I'm gonna take that back to fit the image on my screen. And now we're ready to add my Bitmoji. So if I go up to the top right and click on my extensions toolbar, and I'm gonna grab my Bitmoji leaning against the wall. You just click and then right click to copy the image. And then back here at Google Slides, I'll right click and paste him on there. So we'll add him leaning against the wall. Now, a lot of people will do different things. You can grab a stool for your avatar to sit on or all sorts of things. I'm gonna make him a little bit bigger so that he uh, fits on the screen a little bit better. And then I'm gonna add a whiteboard. Now, these are just things that I do when I add, when I create my Bitmoji Classroom, um, but you can do anything that you'd like. Uh, just something to make your kids feel a little bit more familiar with your surroundings in your classroom and have links to the things that they need. So right now my whiteboard is sitting on top of my Bitmoji's arm so I'm going to right click and use the order tool to send this backward. And I may need to crop him just a little bit to get this open space or this clear space out of the way so I can use the whiteboard. Now I'm going to use a text toolbar and I'm going to put a little message at the top. And then of course you can put anything that you want to on here from a week to week basis. You can put new links on there for the week, whatever your agenda is for your classroom, or whatever the case may be. Maybe a link to your school website. I'm gonna put uh, the Techie Coach blog link on here as an example. Um, and then the week of August 3rd, 2020, and then maybe an agenda and this week's agenda, we're going to talk about the Bitmoji classroom. Okay, so we've got here a little growing list of things on the screen. Um, like I said, it could be anything that you want. 
uh, just something to make the kids a little, feel a little bit more familiar with you and your classroom. So then um, just kind of flower it up with different things that you'd like and I'm going to kind of speed this up as I add some things so we can get to the best part. So once you have some of these uh, little icons and images on your bookshelf, go ahead and click on them. Use the linking tool to put a link to any resources that you need kids to grab because what we're going to do is we're going to make this an interactive tool that they can use. So I'm going to add my link to my YouTube channel on here. Okay. And so now we've got something moving along here. So we've got a little bookshelf with some links. We've got a link up here on the board. And like I said, you can grow this and add more to it, just like the ones that we've seen in other places, as well as this one example that I showed you at the beginning. So now we're ready to go. So what do you do with your Bitmoji Classroom? Well, you may want to put this into your Google Classroom so that kids can access it really easily. And you may also want to make it the uh, new header on your Google Classroom. So first thing I'm going to do is go to the top left and I'm going to name this so that I don't have an untitled document in my drive. And then here's the key. Instead of just sending the link to your students, go to the file menu and go to publish to the web. Publish to the web allows you to put a link out there that sends this slideshow into full screen mode so that it can be browsed. And since there's only one slide, then they really don't need to browse it or go anywhere, but my links will be live so they can click on them. So all you have to do is click publish, okay, and then copy your link. And now we're gonna take this out to our Google Classroom and put it in our classroom. So here we have the Bitmoji Classroom that I've created on Google Classroom. And I'm gonna to go to the classwork menu and click create. And I'm gonna make this a material post, which is basically just information only. It's not a due date, doesn't have a grade with it. And I'll put a title on this and I'll say, click this link to access classroom resources. Okay, then I'll click add and link and then I'll paste in the link from the publish to the web item on my Google slideshow. I'll click add link. And so now it's ready to go. I'm gonna create a topic for this called classroom resources and then post. So now when students come to the classroom and they click here and then click on the link, it goes full screen. All these links are live so that when you click on them, they take you where they need to go and the students have all the links and resources that they would normally have at their fingertips in your classroom just by going to the Bitmoji classroom that you've now created. Now, one step further, I want to make this the header for my Google Classroom. So to do that, I'm going to back out a little bit and change the formatting on this so that it shows up at the top of the screen. Okay, you may want to make a copy of this slideshow before you alter it to fit the header on your Google Classroom because it will distort it and you don't want to change that link that you've created back here that students click on. So let's do make a copy of the entire presentation Then we're going to call this classroom header. And all I'm going to do is just take out some of the text. Uh, we'll take out the text bar and then I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm going to set this up to the exact dimensions of my Google Classroom header. To do that, once you're inside page setup on the file menu, which is where I am now, I'll go to custom and I'm going to change this to pixels and we're going to make this 800 pixels by 200 pixels, which is the standard size for a Google Classroom header. And then we're just going to alter our Bitmoji guy so that he fits a little bit better. Okay, now remember, you've got a lot of space in your Google Classroom header that's taken up by the title and a couple of other things. So we're just gonna move our teacher to the middle and maybe move our bookshelf and our other resources out towards the middle and just make it look like 
a header to fit our classroom. So here we are, it's ready to go. Now I'll go to the file menu, I'll click download as ping. It's downloading down to the bottom left of our browser. Now I can go to my classroom and on the stream, click upload photo and choose the image that I just created from my slideshow. So there we have it. We've got a little image back there that represents our classroom. There's my avatar. And when kids need any resources for my class, they can go to the classwork menu, go to classroom resources and grab my Bitmoji classroom with all the live links they need for class. Well, hopefully this helps you get started with your Bitmoji classroom. If you have questions, just go to my blog at www.techiecoach.com and we'll see you next time.